Alright y'all, we're now going to look at what I am going to tell you is probably the most, the single most powerful thing I can ever teach you. One thing that you're going to hear about oftentimes as you grow up is intergenerational poverty. But I want you to think about intergenerational wealth. I want to think about what is it that you are going to leave behind. I want, to, I want you to think, can you improve your life situation? Where could you wind up? just by starting investing early and investing often. So let's take what I think is the most feasible, real life example I can ever give you. Example one, you turn 18 and you're gonna open up a Robinhood account or an Ameritrade account or an E-Trade account, some sort of free investing account. And you're going to invest $50 a month, every month for 40 years, let's just say into our a Vanguard ETF, the one we just learned about, at a 7.7% .7 interest rate how much will you have by the time you are 58? So you're gonna do this for 40 years, you're gonna invest $50 a month. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to go to our Dave Ramsey investment calculator. I'll just open up a new tab. And I'll just go ahead and type in Dave Ramsey's. And you all can see down here, oh, investment, and we can see Dave Ramsey investment calculator. All right, investment calculator, ramsensolutions.com. And let's just go through our example. You are, let's see, you are 18. All right. We said that we're going to do this for 40 years. So guys, 40 years from now, you are going to be 58. How much have you saved for retirement? Well, guys, you're going to start off with zero. And how much will you contribute monthly? 50. That's it. All right, and what do you think your annual return will be? We're gonna put in that 7.7 .7 and calculate. All right, guys, if you just start investing when you turn 18 years old and you start investing simply $50 a month at a 7.7% .7 return, you're going to have $160,000, all right? And that's at the low, low cost of you investing $50. Now, where did all that money come from? Here's our initial balance, $0. We see your contributions, your $50 a month is gonna wind up being a grand total of $24,000. And your growth, you're gonna make $136,000, $136,094 um, just off of $50 a month. Okay, so let's go back here. And so the answer, the answer to our question initially, let's just kind of, let's play around with this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to create ourselves a nice little table. Okay. And we're going to change some different values. So let's say this is $50 a month. All right. And we're going to do this at a 7.7 Here's going to be at a 7.7% .7 return, but if you look at the stock market over every 15 year uh, every 15 year time period, it actually averages uh, 12%. Okay, and so we're actually going to look at these two different values. So in our first example, you're going to have 160,000, and I'm just going to kind of round here. You're going to have 160,000 dollars. All right. What if this was at a 12% return? What if this is at a 12% return? Which is the historical return that you would get. Well, at a 12% return, guys, you would be making 588239 Think about this, guys. You're going into retirement, and you have almost half a million dollars only because you invested $50. Okay, I've redrawn this table to make it a little bit nicer. What if you work a little harder? What if you don't invest $50 a month? What if you make a firm commitment that you're going to invest $100 a month? What would that look like? Well, let's go ahead and take this out. Let's change that to 100 And once again, let's go ahead. We're going to compare this at 7.7 .7 first. So this is kind of what they predict right now. So if you were to do 50, I'm sorry, $100 a month at a 7.7% .7 rate of return, you would gain 588,239. 
which is weird because look, look at this. That's the exact same amount that we had at our 12% return. Okay, but what if you were to invest this $100 a month, not at 7.7, .7, what if you were to invest this $100 a month at a 12% return? Well, at this point, guys, you would retire at 58 with 1,176,000. four hundred seventy six dollars alright so guys by you simply investing a hundred dollars a month and if you were to average that twelve percent rate that's what you'd make well what if you did this and this is our last one to go through what if you were careful about buying a car what if you were careful about buying a house what if you re never took on any unnecessary debt what if you just strived and endeavored and you said you know what every single month I'm going to invest $200 per month. Think about that. If you work a $10 an hour job, that's an extra 20 hours of work. If you work a $20 an hour job, that's an extra 10 hours of work per month. Can you, can you find a job that makes you $20 an hour? And can you work an extra 10 hours a month? Or could you work an extra 2.5 hours per week? What would that look like? How radically different would your life look later on. I'm sorry for that mower y'all. So 200 and we're going to first start this out at our low side return of 7.7. .7. Alright guys, if you were to do $200 per month at a 7.7% .7 interest rate, check this out. You would have that 1,176,000 Oh, I'm sorry. 1,000,000 One hundred seventy six thousand four seventy six. Okay. What if you invested though that two hundred dollars at a twelve percent rate of return? Guys, your two hundred dollars would become two million three hundred fifty two thousand. and $951. Think about this, guys. No matter where you are starting off in life, no matter where you think you are starting off in life, no matter how bad you feel like the deck is stacked against you, I want to ask you this one question. Can you work $200 harder per month? What would that take? What level of income would that require you to do? What sort of spending habits would you have to have? Would you have to live at your parents' house maybe a little bit longer? Would that require you to go get a trade school certificate? Could you go to college and accomplish this? You have to answer all these questions, but at the end of the day, fundamentally, all you have to do to truly transform your life is at the bare minimum, invest $50 a month. If you can, 100 But if you can do 200 do 200 and you will retire with grace and with dignity. You won't have to work long after you're, you're done, um, done with work. You're not going to have to be working while you have children and grandchildren. You'll be able to enjoy the last years of your life in relative comfort and safety. All right, guys. This is the end of our investing lesson, and I'll see you guys in our next video.